System admin, system engineer. What is the difference? What do they do? We're talking about that today. How you doing? My name is Emilio. I work in tech and I absolutely love it. Please do remember to subscribe, clicking on the button and on the bell. We release videos every single week on a lot of technical items. So do remember to check that out, click on the button. Also, why don't you let me know in the comments what do you do in technology? Why don't you let me know your role? Why do you want to become a systems admin or a systems engineer? Maybe you already are one and you just don't really know the differences between each. Let me know in those comments below. So let's start with defining the three tiered support model in technology. Now, what am I talking about? Well, you've got level one, level two, and level three. So if you're in technology, you're gonna fall into generally one of these three categories when it comes to support at least. Of course, then you've got development, and uh, that is sort of its own thing altogether. But we're now here talking about administrators, support people, help desk people, and we've got level one, two, and three, and they sort of will slot into one of those three categories. Level ones are gonna be people who work in some sort of a help desk or service desk role. Level two is gonna be people who are now going out to the floor, actually working a lot closer with the staff fixing computers, they're gonna be like desktop people, they're gonna be technicians, they're going to be support analysts and everything similar to that. And then level three, and level three are more infrastructure focused and level three, these will include system admins and engineers, network admins and engineers, database people, security people, storage people, and everything that is sort of infrastructure focused. So now that we know the difference between a level one, level two, level three, well, a systems admin and engineer fall into that level three camp. Now, what about just the general term systems administrator? Now, depends on the company. It really depends on the company, but some places just call their IT people systems administrators just by default. They could be a level one, maybe somebody who's traditionally just help desk doing calls. They could be a level two. They could be somebody who's actually going out to the floor, building computers, building PCs, troubleshooting, all of that, installing software. Or they could be somebody who's actually doing server stuff. But all of those terms fall under the systems administrator. We're gonna be focusing here more on the responsibilities of a systems admin or a systems engineer when it comes to a level three responsibility perspective. Primarily, the tools, the tech that they're gonna be working on are things such as servers, and servers being physical servers, so real physical servers inside of a rack, inside of a data center. Virtual servers, so things such as VMware, Hyper-V, other sorts of virtual technologies, and then potentially servers on the cloud using your big tech companies such as your Amazon's AWS or your Microsoft Azure. Responsible for making sure that all of that server infrastructure is maintained, it's secure, it's set up, it's all working schmick, and it's giving the service to the company that that system admin engineer is working for. Now, apart from servers, they're also gonna be looking after potentially storage technologies. So SAN and NAS, we'll talk about that in a little while, but also apart from that, data centers themselves. So maybe the racking and the stacking of servers of other sorts of infrastructure in a comms room, in a server room, in some sort of a data center, which is essentially big rooms or big, big rooms with a lot of equipment, with racks, essentially big cabinets, big storage cabinets, housing a whole bunch of infrastructure. So regardless, if they are either an admin or an engineer, they're gonna be working very, very closely with a lot of people across different sorts of technology spheres in a company. So for example, they're gonna be working closely with the network admins and engineers. They're gonna be working closely with other developers perhaps, or they're gonna be working very closely with managers, with IT managers. Now the other important thing is with a systems admin or engineer, they may not just do systems related responsibilities, right? So we talked about servers, and uh, storage and things of that nature, but they may actually get involved a little bit with network administration. You know, this term could be interchangeable. So somebody who's called a systems admin may actually also get involved with network administration, network engineering. So of course the networking person or a networking responsibilities includes looking after routers and switches and firewalls and load balancers and proxies and things of that nature. So sometimes the systems admin or engineer may need to do some network related responsibilities. So other technologies in the service space, making sure that Active Directory, domain controllers, DNS, DHCP is all working well. It's designed, it's all set up correctly. Making sure that all of the UPS systems are set up. So this is of course the backup power, making sure that the backups are actually working, that all of the data, 
all the servers are all backed up, secure, can be restored, that all of this is monitored, it's all patched, making sure that it's running healthy, making sure that it's secure, and they could also have some skills around scripting and automation and anything else that sort of makes the life of an admin engineer a little bit easier. Now, let's look at specifically the differences between the two. They are different, but they are also very similar, and you may not actually have system admins and system engineers in every single company. Some companies may have both, some companies will not have both and will just have one. And that term is sort of interchangeable depending on the company. So sometimes somebody's gonna be called a systems administrator and they're gonna do systems administrator tasks, but they're also gonna do system engineer tasks and vice versa. Now, generally, you're gonna have a systems admin is gonna be one level and a systems engineer is gonna be a little bit higher than a systems admin. Again, this is different from company to company, but generally the administrator is just gonna be administering the equipment, administering the servers, administering cloud infrastructure, administering the backups, all of that. While the engineer is a little bit more design focused. They're gonna be a little bit more senior. Perhaps a systems engineer used to be a systems admin. Now they're not as involved in the day-to-day, -day, in the BAU, the business as usual, of supporting a server, but they're now potentially involved in designing the server. Think about anything around the technologies that we've talked about. So backups, maybe the administrator is responsible for making sure that the backups are running, making sure that they see the reports coming through, that everything looks okay, that they can test or restore here or there. While the engineer may have, re may have been responsible for actually designing the backup itself, making sure that the backup technology was set up, working correctly, configuring that backup technology to actually work. Once it's configured by the engineer, they then hand it over to the administrator who then takes that on and then make sure that that thing continues to run going forward. This is true with patching. Perhaps the engineer designed the patching infrastructure, designed the process, the policies, the scheduling, the comms, the communication that needs to go out to staff, was all set up by the engineer, ready to go, making sure that it's up to date, making sure that it's working well, but then the administrator just maintains the patching, make sure that the servers are actually patched, make sure that the reports are coming back saying, yep, everything is patched correctly. So administrator, engineer, a little bit more senior. And generally this is also gonna be true from a pay scale perspective. So how much are they gonna earn? Well, generally a systems engineer is gonna earn more than a systems admin. But as I said at the very, very start of this video, this is not always the case in every single company. Sometimes an administrator is gonna also be a engineer. The administrator may also be responsible for building and architecting and designing servers and how all of that works. So they're gonna have two hats wearing both of them. One final thing, if you want to know more about tech in general, I've got full length training courses available. If you check out the description below, I've got courses available on Skillshare and on Udemy around a lot of things, Windows Server, Active Directory, Domain Controllers, all of that sort of stuff. So do check out that description, those links. Do what you do in the socials by liking, click on the subscription button so that you don't miss out on any of my video releases. But thanks so much for spending the time. Really, really appreciate it. We'll talk to you next time.